Hey, hey guys, and welcome, welcome back, back to the Beautiful, Beautiful Twin, Twin Sisters, Sisters Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the dab. Oh, my. Beautiful Twin Sisters. Sisters. All right, guys, today the beautiful twin sisters are joined by Kelly Wakasa and Luke Ike, a.k.a. Life of Luke and Kelly. By the way, I'm Ashley. And I'm Amber. And yeah, we're the beautiful twin sisters. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah. Kelly and Luke over here, they are part of a duo called Life of Luke and Kelly. They had a duo channel back in Los Angeles in 2019. Short-lived 2019 to 2020, but they had about 100,000 subscribers on their joint channel, and each of them now are flourishing, successful, independent YouTubers right now as well. But they're bringing their joint channel back, yeah, so we had to bring them on back. Got to bring them on to celebrate that, let you guys know, Lolak is back. Lolak is back, and these two right here are... Now New York City locals, they're also our upstairs neighbors and our closest friends in the city. Our closest friends. And this one's my boyfriend. I'm dating this one. Yeah. She's pointing at me. Yeah. Luke. Kelly. No. Stop. <laughs> 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 Kelly is my boyfriend. So that's who I met first. They're two great guys. And today we're going to chat with them about how they met, how long they've been dating. Um, <laughs> whoa. Whoa. What? <laughs> and just about, you know, their story and how Lola came to be and their fun stories from that and whatnot and what we can expect from Life of Luke and Kelly this year. You heard that right, this year. So And who's who? <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know you guys. Okay, but like actually you who's who? You guys are looking pretty <laughs> similar right now. I know. How are we supposed to tell you apart? Uh, you guys are looking pretty damn similar. I think nah. we all kind of look like we could be siblings. That's true. You know we say that? Hop a squad. Come, Come on now, are you serious? <laughs> what? What? Since when do you have a catchphrase? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what is the that? Board? Whoa, that was clean! <laughs> I smelled Handboard kickflip. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next year. Oh my god. You guys planned that ahead of time? What the hell? <sighs> That was pretty wow. awesome. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Thank cheers. you guys for having us. <laughs> nice IMLs. Thank you. Should be IVLs, though. Can you explain that? What's an IML? IML. Ice watch a latte. Okay. IVL? Ice vanilla, vanilla latte. latte. <laughs> God, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Me and Ashley have the matcha lattes, as always. They had to bring their IVLs. Yeah. And today, we're all twin them. We all, well, Kelly and Luke pulled up in the gray zip ups, and then me and Ashley <laughs> decided to match as well. So it yeah. is lit. We're kind of quadruplets right now, which is funny. It's a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny? <laughs> like, what's actually so funny? We just sit at the exact same time. And then laughed at the exact same time. <laughs> I feel like we're being weird this podcast. <laughs> and why are we both sitting like this? <laughs> You guys actually look so similar. It's kind of crazy. Are you guys twins? I feel bad. Like I feel like Luke and I are supposed to talk at the exact same time the entire podcast. Like, I, keep, I keep looking over at Luke like, are we going to say something right now? <laughs> Bro. Uh, all, right, all right. We're normal now. We're normal. Okay. Well, basically right now, everyone is wearing a gray sweatshirt. Black undershirt. It is black undershirt. But the boys are wearing some beanies, brown beanies. Very cute. But Costco vibes. jackets. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Those are actually Walmart jackets. Yeah, Walmart. Ah, oh, Walmart. Come on, you can't wear it and not know. Come on now. Where, so when <laughs> <laughs> it was from Walmart. Don't get it twisted. I, that was so <laughs> awesome. I was supposed to get that. Why would Holy I even catch on to that? <laughs> that Yo, cringe alert. We should go, man. <laughs> Wait, we're not gonna do that again. Okay, whatever, guys. This is a big <laughs> podcast for us because. This is our first four-person podcast. Collab. And also, we have multiple camera angles running this time. So we have leveled up, and things are getting crazy. The production value is insane. Yeah. Multicam. This is like film school. This is what I studied for four years for. What's this up? Three cameras on this podcast. My professors will be proud. 
I'm literally the one that set up the camera. No, 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 <laughs> guys. This was all me. I definitely didn't just sit there while the three of them did all of the camera tech stuff. I swear. Guys, film school is pointless. That's what I have to say. The three of them know so much more than me. No, it's fine. Anyways. It's good. It's good. You know a lot. <laughs> like we were saying, today the beautiful twin sisters are joined by Life of Luke and Kelly. So the first person I met was one half of Life of, Lu- Life of Luke and Kelly, which is Kelly right here next to me. I happen to be dating this one. <laughs> oh, that got that got fast. Oh. <laughs> I know we just started the podcast. Now, I know. Now we're already dating. Like keep him on the edge. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one right here. This is my boyfriend Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. We can all grab drinks at the same time, guys. <laughs> I just got I nervous. I get scared. <laughs> it's my comfort, my happy place. <laughs> IBO. Please. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> this is like, did everyone like drink wine before yeah. this? Like, I'm so <laughs> confused. <laughs> We're all completely stuck. We said tacos together before this. Yeah, we had taco night. Okay, but basically, I met Kelly in 2021, and we lived together as roommates. And eventually, in like January of that year, Luke came to visit, and that's when I met Luke for the same time. For the same time. <laughs> I mean, for the first time. Yeah. I meant for the first time. And then eventually, I think later down the line, he kind of moved in like for a few months. And this poor man never had a bed that was his own. <laughs> like he would sleep either in Kelly's room and Kelly would sleep in mine. And then. Yeah, yeah. We did not sleep in the same bed. Just yeah. Like, Kelly like, and yeah. Luke slept together. <laughs> um, I mean, or we to had like a random bed in our living room, like a full queen size bed. And then Luke would sometimes sleep there too. But life of Luke and Kelly existed long before the New York city houses, right? Well, life of Luke and Kelly hasn't existed since 2020. Was it 2020? 2019? 2020, 2020. 2020. Whoa. So what is life of Luke and Kelly? Because when we need to know what it is. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, anyways, we're the reason that we're life of Luke and Kelly right now is because we're coming back as a duo on YouTube. And so who better to call than the BTSP, the Beautiful Twin Sisters podcast, to help. You know, we're on a little bit of a promo tour. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first and final stop. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going to be doing videos every Wednesday on Life, Luke, and Kelly on YouTube. But before that, uh, Luke and I met back in Mr. Chin's class. Whoa. Freshman year of high school. What subject was that? History. History. Wow. And the rest was history. 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 <laughs> I'm dead. That was weird. <laughs> well, happened? first of all, we started skating together. Didn't really film. Like, we didn't have a channel yet. Kelly was kind of doing YouTube, but it was all skateboard content. And then uh, we just started hanging out a lot, skating a lot. And then we became good friends. But we're also both, like, on a YouTube channel called Braille Skateboarding. Oh, that's yes. so true. Explain this. What is Braille? What is that? Braille is a popular skateboard YouTube channel. They okay. have like, what, six mil? Six million subscribers now. Yeah. But back then, maybe like one. Oh, really? Yeah. And then yeah. pretty much Kelly was on that. We we're both kind of like editors and the interns, the interns. Underpaid oh. interns. Oh, yeah. The crazy thing to me is that... You guys got job as, jobs as interns at Braille, but you're also, like, 14. It was, like, hilarious. Yeah, how does that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I met them first, and then I was just kind of, like, that kid who's super annoying, and I just, like, double emailed. Oh, I forgot about this. And then the filmer at the time thought I was, like, persistent, and I looked at that email. It's crazy email that he responded to, but... <laughs> what did you say? I said, like, dear skate god, I would love to <laughs> intern, and I will Bro. never stop trying until I become the intern. I'm, like, I'm, like, a creepy fan. But that as a kid, is. you know, you don't feel like you are. You're just, like, that passionate. And so, ultimately, it landed the gig. And then I was like, well, can I bring my homeboy Luke? Mm-hmm. And then I feel like that was a good building block for our YouTube career. And then we also started Life Luke and Kelly in high school. We tried to shoot episodes, a duo channel, in high school, but it didn't work. Remember, we never posted it. We have a YouTube channel, another one called Life Luke and Kelly with, like, completely different banner art. And it never came to fruition. Oh, I don't remember that. Whoa. Yeah, remember? We have big heads on it. It's like a purple background. <laughs> Wait, so then what's the channel that you guys are going to start posting on now? Is it going to be that one again? Or a new one? No, we have an old one. from that. That I'm just talking about even before we tried to do Life with Kelly, before we moved out to LA and actually did it. We're going to be posting oh. on our old channel that has like 50 videos on it already. 
Oh, it's whoa. Like a, has like 99K. Whoa. But then before that, there was like a <laughs> Well, it had 100K, but then it went down. It did? Whoa. So we're coming back so we can get our plaque. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> after yeah. that, I guess we, after Braille, we kind of like tried to do it on our own or just like do our individual channels. And then I was in uh, college and then Kelly convinced me to drop out and move to L.A. with him. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah. And so where did you guys first move to in L.A.? East Hollywood. Okay. And so what year was this? Just so we get an idea of the time. Like, was it, it the year right after It's like 2018. School? No, it was, I know specifically because it was uh, January of 2019 oh, yeah. is when we moved to LA. It was like, Luke had done one semester at community college and I was just begging him to be like, yo, you're going to drop out, right? You're going to drop out. Like, come on, you don't actually enjoy it. And then Luke's like, oh, shoot, I have no money. And then I still convinced him. And then he started struggling from there. <laughs> like, oh or my like, God. I mean, like, seriously, I feel like yeah. looking back, so stupid that you just like, I guess I'll go. And my right? parents love me. Yeah. Yeah. We got lucky. Uh, yeah, I guess it worked out, though. Like, somehow yeah. you guys, you pulled through. But so were you guys able to make ends meet during this time that you lived in L.A.? Luckily, I had already saved money. From YouTube and just doing my own YouTube. Okay, okay. And then I feel like Luke was a little bit more paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably get like uh, 20 bucks a month. What? <laughs> no, I honestly don't know how I made it. Like, I had a little bit you... saved up. Like I had saved up, but then our rent was like 650 a month. And then somehow I would... I would edit a lot of videos for my parents' business, and then they would pay me. Oh, whoa. So you worked as an editor. I guess. And we had a little bit of money coming in from... From, like, AdSense. Mm -hmm. But we didn't start Life, Luke, and Kelly until maybe halfway, halfway, like, six months into our first lease, just because I feel like we are both struggling with what to film. Mm. And, like, individual content, we were just, like... You're trying to Sucking. do individual and Life of Luke and Kelly at the same time. Originally, just individual. Like that's all we knew was just okay. film like Luke's videos, my videos, whatever. And mm -hmm. then we we're like, why don't we actually just combine? And so then we pretty much dropped our own channels and just like a hundred percent went into Life of Luke and Kelly. Really? For a whole year. We signed a little paper contract outside the uh, laundry mat when we were yeah. doing our laundry. And, and what did what? that contract say? Life of Luke and Kelly is a 50-50 split between Kelly and Luke. <laughs> wow. And, and we'll post every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Or every week. Yeah. And did you actually? For a year. And yeah. we did, yeah. Wow. Whoa. Do you think that was like the better move, like focusing on the group channel as opposed to your individual channels? Or? Well, we ultimately ended it. So at <laughs> the time, like, you know, <laughs> is it really that smart to invest a year and then just be like, dip? So, but now we're going to bring it back. So it is, yeah. But we learned so much too. And it was so much fun. So I, I don't regret anything. Dang. Did you guys take on like certain roles? Like one person was like the on screen guy and then one was like the main editor? Well, she really didn't watch. I have never seen <laughs> a single video. <laughs> Wait, I actually haven't seen a Life of Luke and Kelly video. I think like we need to explain Life of Luke and Kelly to Amber, like as if she's never mm. he heard of, heard of it before or watched it before. Same with like the viewers. Like I feel like they're maybe they don't even know this was a group channel between Kelly and Luke that they started when they were living together in Los Angeles that lasted for how long? Like a year. A year. And Single then year. they decided to end it right as it was about to hit 100K. No, it hit 100K. Oh, it hit 100K. And then they said, thanks for 100K. We're, we're quitting. That was our special. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. In tears. Yeah. But the videos were like videos that we make today. It's very much so like a cameraman, Luke and I just doing random stuff and like going out on adventures. Like very random. Wow. Like throwing water bottles at each other's crotches was like a common thing. That's the first oh. one. <laughs> Our our biggest inspiration probably was like Robin Big. Yeah. Which is like an old MTV show with Rob Deerdeck. Oh. And Big Black. And R. I. P. Yeah. It was like a best friend show and we would just go on adventures and literally had no idea what we were doing, but would just film a video every week. Wow. Can you give us an example of a few of the videos that you guys filmed together? Like what are your favorite videos <laughs> on the Life of Luke and Kelly channel? I think one of my favorites, I think it's called uh, Don't Show Your Girlfriend This. I knew you were going to say that one. What? It's just like super funny. Like it's with me, Kelly, and our friend Jason. He's just like this long-haired crazy guy from Long Beach. And we just like go mess around and we like go to the car wash and he like, we 
pretty much, I guess, like shower with the car wash. Like we're spraying each other and washing the car. It's just like random. It's like when cheerleaders wash your car and then yeah. they, they do like a montage and they're like this. Yeah. And they're sexy washing car the wash. car. Se- sexy car wash. Yeah. It's just like random like things with like random banter. It's a really, it's a lifestyle show. Really? Yeah. I mean, lifestyle. it's supposed to be like, it's like home videos, honestly, but we yeah. just like enjoyed that action. You know what I'm saying? So we would always be doing stuff. And our rule in the beginning was we cannot talk to the camera. That's lame. <laughs> and so we couldn't get content to save our lives because we couldn't talk to the camera. So we'd film for an entire week and it would just be like action because we wouldn't talk. That's what I'm talking about when we threw like water balloons at our crotches because we had no, we couldn't be like, okay, what's up guys? Today, this morning, we're going to be doing this, this, this. Really? Because you didn't want to do that? We, we just thought it was like, like too boring. YouTube-y. Yeah. Oh. You Looking to back, now we're totally going to talk to the camera because <laughs> we can't be out there throwing shit at our crotches like you only do it so many times you know? yeah. <laughs> i guess yeah right i guess so yeah <laughs> i just can't believe i've never like i've for some reason never looked up the channel and i didn't know you guys during yeah. that period so i i was not familiar it's but good now, to explain now yeah we know it's when i lit. first met kelly i had no idea that there was the life of luke and kelly channel yeah i just thought he just had the kelly wakasa channel that is nuts that it hit 100K, though. Like, in a year, that's like, how do you even do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100K in a year. And then before it hit 100K, we took a break. And it was basically because I was going to live in a house without Luke. And... Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. But it was, like, it was a did. cool opportunity to live with other creators, and I wanted to do it. It was just for a month. And then after that, I was kind of in a like predicament what should i do with my life like i wasn't sure if life of luke and kelly was working out at the time because we weren't making any money we had done it we, for a year we didn't do one brand deal the whole time on purpose or no, not on never. purpose we didn't I, I hadn't done a brand deal then ever in your ever life? it just wasn't that popular i feel like i guess yeah that is kind oh. of like i feel like they're more normalized now to have in videos whereas mm-hmm. in old youtube That's you wouldn't really see them yeah it was more rare yeah, yeah. so i feel like at that time, I had to make the decision, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go to college. And so basically, we just had to disband there. And then so when we hit 100K, we turned on the camera like, oh, my God, thanks for 100K. By the way, we're ending the channel. <laughs> that's crazy. What the heck? And that's the last video we posted four years ago, five years ago. The 100K special. Wow. Whoa. Mic drop. <laughs> that's nuts. What would you guys say is your goal for bringing back the Lolak channel, Life of Luke and Kelly channel? Lolak? Lolak? How do you say that? We like to say Lolak, which is just oh. the acronym for Life of Luke and Kelly. I and, you know, we cool. also like, I mean, just saying like, it should be like Life of Kelly and Luke, like local. But which one sounds oh. better? Life of Luke and Kelly. I'm sorry. Like, do we yeah. love? For sure. <laughs> Life of Luke, Luke and Kelly. Kelly. Do yeah. we love that? No, I'm just kidding. What's your goal with it? Um, it's good to know. I don't even intention? know his goal. Yeah. What is the intention what for bringing it back? What is your intention? What are your intentions with, him? with, with also, my neighbor? I do have a question. Yeah. How long have me. you guys been together? How long we've we been uh, dating? I'm smashing. I mean, uh, <laughs> 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 like ten, five years. Uh, it's been since do what is 2014? So ten years. Whoa. Wow! Happy wow, anniversary! Years. Give me three. Oh. Also, our branding is three taps, which is, which is a just a handshake. handshake. You guys have a handshake? Yes, we do. Is this? You're not about to make up our iconic handshake on the spot, bro. This is everybody's handshake. We gotta do better. It's just a heart with your fingers. No, we gotta figure out a way to spell BTS in our fingers. Okay, we'll figure it out later. Beautiful yes. Twin Sisters podcast. Um. Okay, I guess I'll answer it. You have a goal or no? Like, is it for purely creative reasons? Is it to bring in another, like, revenue stream? Is it... I mean, I think for us, we've always just enjoyed making videos together. And ever right. since, like, we started again, I think we just understand, like, wow, if we could do this the rest of our lives, this would be, like, the best. Like, it's just so much fun to film and hang out and just, like, go on adventures together. I couldn't, like... Like, it's just, like, such, like, crazy content we get. I don't know. It's just, wow. it's just fun. Guys, I think by doing this, this means we all have to live with each other for the rest of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Set yourself up for success. You know what they say? Yeah. Like at this point, I'm like, okay, so we're going to be neighbors or Forever. what? <laughs> yeah. Our kids are going to go to the same school system or what? I mean, it's also like a business partnership, I guess. Yeah. But we don't, we're still not money savvy. 
I so feel that. we probably will still take a net zero on this. <laughs> We're looking for producers, guys. We're looking for someone who's going to make us money. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys at least have a net positive versus like losing money on it. That's my hope for you guys. I mean, I think one of the bigger reasons that we feel confident bringing it back is because we've gained so much more knowledge over the years of being on YouTube. Yeah, right. And now that we've had our own individual success on our own platforms on YouTube, I think like, okay, let's put together our brains again. And let's see if we can actually, like, you know, disrupt the awesome. community or disrupt the landscape of YouTube a little bit. Disrupt the fucking landscape, bro. We're here <laughs> just to be nice. We're here to drink IVLs and get to the freaking top. We're the king of New York, okay? We're the best, most athletic, handsome duo ever. Well, Sorry. But we have to, you know, have that mindset going into it. Yo, life of Luke and Kelly's about to be on top. Just a quiet one. I'll humble, I'll humble three taps. <laughs> Luke hasn't said anything, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the uh, the we have a little extra dynamic, you know, when we're filming Ooh. together. Oh, okay. okay. Isn't it easier to film like together, For right? Sure. Like that's why you guys did yeah. the podcast. Yeah, it's just more comfortable. And yeah. I, yeah, it's like we bring things out, turn out better. Yeah, it's funnier. It's easier to make, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So much easier to have someone that you're like actually talking to. Because I feel like talking to a camera is so unnatural. So if you have someone with you, it's like now you are just like doing normal it's things. It's just flowing. Feels that shit is flowing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You I feel guys like you guys have like such a good dynamic, too. It's because we're twins. <sighs> Tap me a few times. <laughs> they what if we take taps? it? It's ours now. <laughs> Give me three. We do four towels. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. Oh, sorry. Four towels is four so towels that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what if we do like 13 towels? <laughs> <laughs> that would be wild. Do you guys feel like, because when I first started hanging out with you guys, I'd be like, oh my God, these guys have, I mean, obviously you guys are sisters, but... We're not just sisters. We're twins. Beautiful twin sisters. And we're beautiful. At that. Exactly. Don't get it twisted. When I first started hanging out with you guys, I felt like your guys' connection in lingo in like inside jokes is on a different level. Do you feel like that's yeah. similar with us two? Or do you... I don't know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I'm just kidding. No. Definitely I actually no. don't Definitely know what that question not. was, but I guess I'm asking like I'm compatibility. Kidding. Like, what am I even asking? Well, no, I think... I think you guys have it, but since you're not brothers... We're twins. Bro, you are not but about to take our twin thing. We get to steal your hands. We get to steal you your hands. You get to do that. I was trying to say it at the same time as you, bro. You know what we say that? Come, Come on, on now. Are you serious? It's <laughs> 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 okay. that? like Spongebob. No, I think you guys definitely... I don't know. You're just bros. You're comfortable around each other like you are brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you guys do have that lingo. It's always funny when you guys say, that's fooked. I always <laughs> think that's funny because it's so random that's to say. Fooked. You, you also have some words that you guys have made up together. Like when Rochambeau. you say... Rochambeau <laughs> is just NorCal, thing, I think. Yeah. That's just Bay Area. That's how you say rock, paper, scissors. Oh, Mishka. Mishka. Which, Mishka. by the way, we Mishka. didn't do because both of us are on our good side today since the podcast has a different setup. Um... But yeah, you guys say let's go is Veshka, which Veshka? I would think is Russian, but it's just their language. The boy language is just Veshka? It's just their language. Veshka skate. Let's go skate. <laughs> That's funny. Veshka skate. Yeah. Veshka skate. Do you guys have any crazy inside jokes that you can remember off the top of your head? I know it's kind of a hard question. Not the mother. Not the mother. Not the mother. Yeah, really stupid that? videos. That, like, I look back, I'm like, why do we think this is funny? Like the one you're just quoting. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, a really old TV show that none of us have seen, but we just saw a clip and it says like, it's like a little alien kid. It's like, not the mama, not the mother. And it's like, not the mother, not the mother. Or the, uh, you ever seen, um, what's the superhero high school movie? Sky High. Oh Sky yeah, Sky High. high. <laughs> Where the guy like chokes him and he goes, uncle, uncle, uncle. uncle. And we do that like all the time, but I don't think oh. anyone understands. Not even that funny either. I also, we always quote surfs up. True. Yeah. We both love surfs up. Kelly's, Cody's this, Cody's that. Cody's me, bro. Kelly always pulls out the most random line from a movie that's like not a joke or memorable at all. And he'll just say like a sentence. <laughs> I can't think of it. Kelly yes, hyper yeah. fixates on movie quotes. Like the one from... You gotta get your food down. <laughs> I don't know even that Solburn. one. 
<laughs> of the salt part <laughs> one? Okay, that's crazy. Anyways, no, the one from, I was going to say Kung Fu Panda. Oh, like what is that? tomorrow's a mystery. Yesterday's history and today's a gift. That's why they call it present. The one about the peach tree. <laughs> just say it. Just say uh, it. It's like, it literally goes like, you may want an orange or an apple, but you will get a peach. And there's no context to that. I don't know why I tell you that all the time. Yes, there is context to that. Like what, you're having a bad day or something? Because <laughs> you might wish for something different because you might wish for something different in your life. But at the end of the day, like... At the end of the day, Master Ugoi stays <laughs> in my head like 24-7. Okay. But, <laughs> no, what is the meaning of that quote? Like, I feel like it's obvious. It's, like, it's just it's like that, you're given a set of cards and th- that's and what that's you're dealt. And that's what you're dealt, yeah. Like, yeah. And you got to make the best of it. I will have an actual hardship and I'll be like <laughs> <laughs> crying. <laughs> crying. And then Kelly will be like, well, Master Ugoi once said. <laughs> <laughs> it will pull out that line on me. So yeah. And... We're still together, so it's working. It's, shout out, Mister Master Uwe, love doctor. Mm-hmm. We also f- totally forgot to mention that obviously, me and Ashley live in this apartment together. But Lolak, how you say that? Lolak. Why am I like never understanding anything about this? Anyways, Lolak <laughs> lives upstairs in the apartment above us with their roommate Ari, mm-hmm. who is unfortunately not cool enough to be a part of this squad whoa, whoa. I just kidding. no we'll get Ari. Ari's gonna have a word with you later <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. no but ari's first of all not he's in arizona and also lolak is lolak what <laughs> lolak lolak is only for professional skateboarders yeah and ari's only amateur so ari's only a major epic cyclist apparently he told us that mm-hmm. but he's a tiktoker and He's so lit. But one day we'll have him on the podcast. He's not here right now. I don't know. Yeah, we have to get Ari is so Ari crazy. on the podcast. But yeah, so they live above us. So this is actually like the most epic uh, squad setup ever is like we got all the friends living upstairs. It's literally like friends. Like they literally live next to us. And people said that about your guys' old house. But it's like you guys all lived in the same house. Now it's like literally friends. Yeah, we go up the stairs. We go up the stairs to see them. Mm-hmm. It's fire. Which apartment do you like better? Ours or yours? Ours, obviously. Damn. Really? Well, I think the balcony is nice. It's a wow. Plus. We also get to design wow. our own home just the same way you guys designed yours. Okay, but do you have this couch? Your guys' couch is more comfy. But do you have an office like mine with bright lights <laughs> and a blue neon sign that illuminates the night sky like the Batman symbol? Whoa. I mean, I, I just walk into my space and I'm like hyped. Like, I love my space. And I think it's the same way you guys probably walk in here and like, oh my God, it's so like... Us, comfy, BTSP. <laughs> yeah, BTSP. <laughs> I mean, come on, this couch is super comfy. We don't own anything comfy like this. <laughs> yeah. Because we're just sleeping on rocks and nails up there. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly doesn't even have okay. a bed in this. Yeah. Well, I sleep on a four inch f- memory foam <laughs> mattress if, 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 if Ashley's not here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But it's the best. Yeah. Honestly. Your guys is more cozy, I think. For sure. Yeah. Your afternoons are phenomenal here. Movie vibe. With the right sunset, here. you mean? Yeah, your sun in here in the afternoon. You guys have the actual like sunset <sighs> view, I thought. No. Only Ari. Oh. We have morning. Oh, okay. And we have the sunset that's lit. But we miss that every morning, you know? Wake up at noon. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fist bump. That's real. Hell you yeah. Can't, you can't fist bump Ashley. Nah, oh, sorry. She's up at 9 a.m. going to Orange Theory. <laughs> yep. OTF. That's me. OTF. I'm on my grind. Off the face. Orange Theory business. Oh. <laughs> Period. Wow. But, but you guys do have the penthouse, you know? You guys have that nicest apartment in the whole building. I mean, it's Bella Deed's old place. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> but then our neighbor told us that she used to live in our unit. That neighbor is... But I think he was capping. Wrong. Capping. There's just yeah. no way that she wouldn't live in the penthouse. In the penthouse. Yeah. There's, there's also no photo way. proof. There's, al- yeah, there's also photo proof of her. Right? Who do you trust? Our broker, the person that like has probably seen apartment? this place a million times or... Or old man Jen- Jenkins. You yeah, know. old man Jenkins next door, literally. Who knows? Yeah, I think he was just lying. Bella Hadid's old apartment is like, it's kind of crazy because if you go into Kelly and Luke's apartment, then you're like, oh, the weekend has been here. Yeah, I think they like lived there together. That was like why they got that apartment. Who knows? But that's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, but I feel like you guys definitely have like the boy apartment. And when you walk in it, feels like a we work if you don't know we work it's like an <laughs> office space feels like a co-working space yeah. like a tech like it has the long <laughs> table for editing and like everybody's beds are like not comfortable enough and then you just have like it's just an office and then you come here and it's 
first of all, so messy, and then also <laughs> really cozy. But it's giving home. Hoarders. Yeah, hoarders. But we are <laughs> so cozy. <laughs> hey. Yeah. yeah. The but vibes are so different, though, in our unit. So it's fun that we live separate so we can have, like, such different spaces and then access to each other so quickly. It's lit. True that. Pay and mega rent instead of... Sorry, I cut you off. <laughs> 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 What were you going to say? I'm dead. No, it's fine. I was just going to say, um, I do think it's wild for like you guys in our last house because both I live with both Kelly and Luke in our last house. Mm-hmm. And Luke lived in the literal basement with no windows. And yeah, that was crazy. How was that for you, Luke? First of all, I think it's actually faster to get from our place, our current place, mm-hmm. to your guys' place than the basement to the bathroom for me. Yeah, which is messed up. So there was no lights in there. Um, So I could have been in Texas or anywhere. I would have never known, you know. (laughs) Bro, there were lights. What are you talking about? I mean, oh, no windows. Sorry. No no natural (laughs) light. You were in the dark 24-7 like an animal, bro. (laughs) Animals have a better I didn't know where, like, one day I literally woke up at 1 a.m. because I thought it was 1 p.m. What? And I got up like, oh, I slept in again because I had a <laughs> terrible problem. And then all of Kelly's videos, I swear, everyone's like, Luke, you need to fix your sleep schedule because he's always like catching me off guard at like 1 p.m. waking up. But yeah, honestly, everyone's like, are you depressed down there? Like, and after I like I have natural light now, I'm like, it's definitely good to have windows. Yeah. So nice. you, love, you love that spot. No, it was great because it was so big. It was, it was huge. cool. It was, and but... Would I live there again? Probably not. Nah. Oh, and he had those two flights of stairs to get to his bathroom, which is so crazy. Far away. And that's the worst because I go to the bathroom a lot before I go to bed. And it would suck to lay down and be like, oh, I kind of have to pee. You, and you have to go two, up flights, two of flights of stairs. I'm surprised you never got a bucket. Oh, my I didn't God. have to pee that much. I was honestly more like PTSD, like from something scary down there. Because the, also the boiler room. Did you ever see the boiler room? Oh, I we had a scary it. boiler room that was attached to Luke's room. It was yeah. like in his room. It was a big room. It was like a kitchen. It was always making like a humming noise. Ew. And then there was like a vent that if you really looked at, you could kind of like see through. So it always kind of not look. Oh, my God. But you're also a so scared scary. child. Like you are scared in general. Yeah. Well, I and you scared. also. You also pranked me. Yeah, you also pranked him by <laughs> living bad. in his room for 100 hours in the boiler room well, and making noises. Oh, did Luke do that first? Luke did it first in our Whoa, old, old house. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, that is true. <laughs> uh, but that's so creepy if Luke's in the basement and then you're going to like literally haunt him down there. Yeah. But Luke's in my closet. I know, but at least you're like in a normal bedroom. It's not scary. He's like in a dungeon. Like it's creepy already. It was called the dungeon. And Kelly put a dead rat under Luke's bed. That's weird. Yeah, that's that was like... fooked. That was fooked. That was fooked. <laughs> That's so like that was a banger video. Different level. Those are weird. good videos. If you haven't seen, you have to watch Luke's video where... What is it? Hiding in Kelly's room for 100 hours? Mm -hmm. And then yours was hiding in Luke's room for 100 hours. They're both for 100 hours in the title. Uh, I don't think yours is 100 hours. Mm, Yeah. Probably like 99 Was it 100 hours? I did more than you. What was it called? No, I don't know. I think mine was 72. The title was slightly different. was 72 and yours was 100 or something. I know it was like a little bit different. So maybe next time we'll do like 125 hours or something. I remember the funniest thing was that when Luke was hiding in Kelly's old room was that Luke put a security camera in Kelly's room. Oh, yeah. And I was in on this. I was helping hide Luke because I was (laughs) in on it. And so Kelly finds the security camera right behind him, Mm -hmm. like right behind his desk. And he's like, security camera? Like, why is this here? And I, because I'm trying to hide Luke, have to take the blame for it. So I just am like, oh, oh that's mine. Like, oh, <laughs> like, oh my God. Like, I think it's just mine. Like, don't even worry about it. Like, and like me and Issa are like laughing together. It's like so sus. And Kelly gets so actually hurt that so I invaded hurt. his privacy like that. Damn. He was like, why would you put a security camera in my room? Like genuinely he was hurt and he was so offended. And I, for like a full like day or two had to just let Kelly think that I was weird enough to put a security camera in his bedroom. Isn't that crazy? That is nuts. I mean, there's like, I feel like you should have said like, you're doing a video. Like, 
I don't know. Like, for whatever reason, I just let him think I was a crazy girlfriend. So yeah. Ashley pulled through yeah. for the vid. So, so what was going through your head during that? I mean, I was genuinely hurt. I was like, you don't trust me. Like we're <laughs> together for like 20 hours a day. How, what do you think? Four hours and I have enough time to do something crazy. So I was so <laughs> like baffled, like no freaking way. Like what's, why, <laughs> why would you have a security camera in my room? Like we're one door away. Yeah, yeah that, that's like literally makes no sense because like you live together. It's like, what would she catch? Like you can't get away well, with anything. Yeah, anyways. that's why he well, was freaked was out and I just had to cover up for Luke. And then eventually yeah. Luke went and surprised Kelly and then I could tell him the security camera was Luke's. And he was like, oh, that's no, so the weird. trust hasn't been the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since two it years actually ago. severely impacted our relationship. Wow. So, wow. But Kelly also put a camera, maybe like four cameras in my room as payback yeah. probably. <laughs> There were so many cameras in Luke's room. Like, that could have caught some weird stuff. Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you were never, honestly, you were never naked, which was crazy. <laughs> what? How did that happen? <laughs> like, in a were good, I mean, in a good way. Like, luckily. What? Or, like, you could have been doing something crazy in there. I mean, I'm not going to name things, but, ew, like, ew. a lot of things you could be doing. But, yeah, I got lucky. Because I think that you would is... change when you shower, so it was good. Yeah. So... Oh, my God. I wow. would be so scared to film someone's bedroom and, like, know that I have to edit through the footage. Like, that's... Bro, no! Oh my God, what? That's so weird. I would only do it to Luke because I know Luke did it to me. So he's like, okay, well, obviously he's comfortable enough with it. Yeah, that's real. I guess. Yeah, it was a good video. Good idea. And you guys have still never seen each other naked. No, I always think about maybe we should do a video like that, like just exposing each other. other. But then I think, what would that? What if it's like so weird that we never see each other like the same again? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, Kelly had the uh, drawing class. Yeah, Yeah. I was gonna say that. And he was like, "Do you want to come to that?" And I was like, "Absolutely not." So. You're that talking my about chance. my like naked drawing class, yeah. yeah. When you were painted nude, yeah, yeah. That's nuts. I remember when you guys first met. I think that was the first video you released since like Ashley moved in with you, and I was like, That's literally, crazy. who is this guy? <laughs> I was like, why did Ashley move in with this freak as always? That's like just naked on the internet. Mm-hmm. But now he's been uh, slightly better, slightly better. But Come also- on, Amber. I'm a good little. Every once in a while, roommate. Yeah. <laughs> and I come down and say hi. Yeah, what's yeah. the dynamic then being roommates? Since you guys live together, but now Amber's in the mix. And I hang out down here all the time. Yeah, Kelly's here. I mean, you come down at like 10 o'clock every night. Yeah. And then actually it's been like so chill. I literally don't give a fuck. Amber always forgets that Kelly is like comes down or like is here, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, because I'm just like, oh. I honestly just like to have people around anyway. So I'm like, somebody's here. This is lit. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's just more fun. It's always good to have more people. Yeah, nothing's ever been a bother. I like, I don't know, it's just actually more fun. That is my only thing, yeah. Yeah, I try not to like step on anybody's toes, especially yours, like when we're in the house or whatever. He doesn't want to annoy you. I don't want to annoy you. Bro, why would I get annoyed? I don't think there's like, I don't know. Sometimes I ask you a lot of questions. No. Like, what if he was farting everywhere or something? No, you've never done it. The only thing that would, like, annoy me is if you, we were talking about this. If you got, like, really sweaty at the gym and then, like, got under my bed sheets and, like, rolled around. <laughs> that's, like, the only that's, possible thing I mean, I that could. is my dream, but, like, no. just to see your face. No. Also, who's doing that? Yeah. We were just talking about that. We were, like, like hypothetically. Amber's worst nightmare. Because yeah. we all went to, like, your basketball game the other day, and then you were like, what if I just got under your sheets when we got back? And I was like, yeah. please never do that. That's, like... Oh, my worst nightmare. Because we're in, like, New York City, and then you're, like, automatically gross. And they went to the gym to play basketball with, like, a million other sweaty guys. I'm like, this is this is not what I want. Yeah. Both Luke and Kelly are on a basketball team together. So how has that been for you guys? I mean, are we the next Steph and Clay? Like, <laughs> close? Splash I Brothers? Uh, pretty close. I mean, we dropped, like, what? Combined, like, two points? Who's Steph? Who's Clay? I I'll, mean, I'd be the washed up clay, <laughs> <laughs> clank. <laughs> but I'd be kind of washed up stuff. No, what did like you guys think stuff. of our basketball game yesterday? Because Amber and Ashley, thank you guys I for it was coming. Weird. Yeah, it was crazy. Was weird. There. All the players were being so aggressive. It was so weird. No, like, I think it was I'm like on not your guys real it, basketball. I'm on their side more than you and Kyle in a way. Was, well, I'm not. What do you mean? I'm not on am, your I, side. What am I, I'm not like arguing. No, no. I'm saying like Kyle's like so into it. I'm like, I'm confused why they're all so, like, crazy and competitive. No, it's like all of them have anger issues. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Every single player was weird. Like, every player on both teams, like, their team and the other team, everybody was, like, the entirety of both teams were constantly fighting and, like, screaming the whole time. I was like, like, body slamming. I just feel like it's not allowed like that, but... 
I think the refs are a little more lenient in their league. But regardless, I feel like Kelly and Luke share a lot of the same activities, whether it's basketball, soccer, skateboarding. Skateboarding, I think, is handboarding. (laughs) (laughs) Skateboarding, I think, is what really obviously brought you guys together. But did you both start skateboarding first separately? And then you just, like met each other and knew both of each other were skating and that's how you kind of became friends or what was it let me paint you a picture okay (laughs) homeboy like me high school yo you skate oh i skate too (laughs) (laughs) but yeah we started skating individually before and then i don't know how do we discover that we both skated like did we just i actually saw him at soccer practice before i ever knew him he came to one of our, our song practices. I was like, who's this kid with the rat tail? He had a rat tail <gasps> when yeah. I Whoa. first met him. Oh, my gosh. And Kelly has a rat tail he right now. It. I didn't bleach it. It was bleached. No, it wasn't. It was, it was just light. Anyways. Oh, you didn't, um, I don't have blonde at eight years old. I don't have bleach. Really? I thought it was bleached. No, it wasn't bleached. And then uh, Shadow Kale. He's kind of the one that brought us together. Uh-huh. Oh, that's right. Because, uh, yeah, we had a mutual friend kind of. Yeah. Because we came we all, from different middle schools. Yeah, then we all skated together. What is both of your guys' bo- best skate trick? <laughs> That's a crazy question. What is the <laughs> best skate trick you guys have ever done in your whole life? You could just lie right now. We'd never know. <laughs> we would never know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think for me, it's just kickflip down the eight stair. Really? Right? That's probably my... Or maybe... Um, he could make no, up maybe a big word he- and they would never know. <laughs> I would say big heel down the five. Yeah. Or an ollie heel down the five? I don't know. What about you? Mine's probably like a front side nose blunt. Down pop, what? Pop out. Nose blunt pop out? Where? Like on a ramp or a box. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say reverse laser flip. <laughs> <laughs> laser flip? Yeah. Oh. Should we just talk in like skate terms for the rest of the podcast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gosh. I still really don't know what you guys said, but it's okay. I'm drinking that IVL front side or back side? <laughs> <laughs> switch. 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 <laughs> you dirty dog. I'm hitting mine fakie. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, well, <laughs> I have a fun question. Yeah. Uh we are both duos here. Yes. I'm wondering which like famous duo would you guys say you most resonate with? I have Kelly's answer. What? What is it? The Dolan twins. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like the Island Boys. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Why is this turning so sad? The Devanky twins or uh, the Boros twins. Devoros twins. Gosh. No, I mean we, I think we are Robin Big. Yeah. But I never really actually watched that. Luke watched Robin Big. Yeah, that was like my favorite uh like show growing up. Mm. They're just like skaters that uh hang out and do fun things. Oh nice. But we didn't I don't think we had like a real like okay like study them them? step by step them besides maybe robin big nice what about you guys you guys had like a iconic duo kendall and kylie i was gonna say the kardashians i know but i also we don't really care about the kardashians that much i just think you're totally kylie and then i'm kendall yeah we really give off strong like kendall kylie energy yeah what do you think um well i'd probably be like rob and we're both models and we're also both entrepreneurs yeah and you're a horse girl and and you're so uh athletic model vibes and then i'm thank you king kylie vibes and you love travis scott yeah no of course. she loves timothy chalamet oh, oh that's, that's actually right. real yeah oh and you love devin booker <laughs> what <laughs> and she's oh. not dating devin booker she's dating bad bunny not anymore. I think they broke up too. I think they broke up. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> Who's surprised though? Me when I was a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Someone be cooking here. <laughs> <laughs> that's a body. <laughs> You're done. You're Kelly, done. Kelly and Luke don't watch TikTok, so I teach them phrases. trends and phrases from TikTok, and then they misuse them <laughs> constantly. So There's a phrase "Someone cooked here," where it's like when you have a significant other and you can tell that they've had another significant other like in the past it's like if your boyfriend already has like a perfect skincare routine it's like mm-hmm. oh someone cooked here yeah but then luke like misunderstood luke, it <laughs> luke will misunderstand and like in any situation say it's cooked <laughs> <laughs> it's and like cooked so what funny. does that mean it's like oh it's that's more funny cooked. <laughs> it's so funny that's cooked 
Yeah, like we got stuck in an elevator. He goes, ooh, it's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kelly, like anything will say, me when I was a baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, okay. That's so funny. I was looking up things we could talk about and I looked up a bunch of would you rather questions. This will be good. And I found this crazy website with some epic questions. So we're going to run through a couple of these. Okay. Do it time. Off. Let's get it. Let's oh, no, get it. Serious. Wait, guys. On the count of three, say the same word. One, two, three. Salsa. Oh, shit. Wait, what did Kelly say? Come on now. That's three words. Oh, he said salsa. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was one word. Okay, Wait, he said mind. one word? I didn't hear that. I, I just heard. said say the same word. Oh. All right, let's try it one more time. Okay. Three, two, one. Cody. Cody? Oh, Cody? Cody? Cody's this. Cody's that. Cody's me, bro. <laughs> We're going to kind of speed run this because I have like 40. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have like six. Okay. Um, okay. First off, kind of easy one. Damn. A little random. I'm just kidding. Uh... First, would you rather? Would you rather bounce off of every surface you touch or never be able to jump again? <laughs> Probably bounce. That would be kind of sick. Every surface you touch? <laughs> like how high are you bouncing? Uh, let's say like four feet. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sick. I mean, that's great. That's That would be incredible. Yeah, I'd be bouncing. Let's bounce. <laughs> okay, that's that's. I would never want to jump again because I feel like yeah. when I haven't jumping? seen you jump ever. Exactly. So I'm like, <laughs> oh might as well. <laughs> Could you even lay down if you're bouncing off of surfaces? <laughs> like, you're just like saving. <laughs> we'll bounce. That's funny. Sounds like oh, eternal gosh. hell. I'm sorry. Wow. Would you rather be able to teleport or have a private plane? Teleport. Teleport. What? Okay. That's what I figured. I was just wanted to see if anyone was a teleport. That's kind of anti environmentalist. Question. I don't know. What if someone was like, if, but I feel like if someone like, said, why would you rather fly in a plane than teleport? Yeah. I tele- just wanted to see if someone was crazy enough to say plane. Cause I was like, this is such a clear. Anyways, that was kind of a flop. Okay. <laughs> this one I came up with myself. This wasn't even on the website. Would you rather be a game maker for the hunger games mm. or the strongest tribute in the hunger games? Strongest tribute. You'd rather, rather compete. Be- Oh my god, that's such a boy answer. To I was, honestly had no idea what that. Both like, are you meant. gonna die if you're the strongest? No, if you're the strongest, like you could like potentially win the Hunger Games, but you still have to kill other people. Oh, never mind. But the game maker is the person that like makes the arena and like sets in like the crazy contraptions that like, like you know they like set up the whole game. But that's more evil because you're killing everyone. Yeah. Either way, on, the moral fun. implications. Are I know. There. So it's rather like, would you rather be the evil mastermind or the winner of the evil game? I'll be Candace. I would be the game maker. What's Candace? <laughs> Who's Candace? <laughs> Candace Dick in your mouth. Wait, is it not Candace Everdeen? <laughs> Katniss. It's Katniss. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, right. I thought you were doing a D's nuts on me joke. I thought it was Candace. That sounded right to me, too. That sounded right to me, too. What? You guys both thought her name was Candace Everdeen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so weird. How do you not know that? Someone What's the there. other one? Like, pita chip? Pita chip? Pita? Pita? Pita chip and Candace? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. What's the last book you guys read? <sighs> last book. Actually, Kelly. G- Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly gave me a book. Lulek uh, gave me a book. I forget right. what it's called. When was the last time you, you read a book? You read the David Goggins. Oh, book, David Goggins. But did book. you finish it? I'm like 200 pages in. Wow, that's really good, Luke. Thanks. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Maybe right. not sound like it, but I tried. Um, last book I read. <laughs> It's been it's been like at least a year and a half. I couldn't even tell you. Okay. It might have been the David Goggins book. What would what is that called? Can't hurt me. And yeah, that the book newest is crazy. one is called what? What? Can't uh, sink me or something? No, it's definitely something else. Like I don't know. What's going okay. On. Well, whatever. Let's do the next question. Wow. Well, the last book I read was the new Hunger Games book, and I read that this past year, and that was the first time I read a wow. book in like ten years. Would That's you believe amazing. it? Wow. Yeah, I did that. Somebody cooked. Um, next, would you rather, would you rather be a famous artist or a famous athlete? Athlete. What kind of artist? Like singer? Oh. Singer or You actor could choose. Or any? And you can also choose what kind of athlete. Anything. Athlete's more healthy, so I'm going to go athlete. Oh, interesting take. I think artist, like a singer. Oh, wow. A gifted singer. I'm like leaning special? towards athlete, <laughs> no. but I think... If you're a singer like Justin Bieber and you're selling out shows and stuff, That's that would be a, a crazy lifestyle. So I would probably say artist. Wow. I, I would love like to experience that, even though I don't <sighs> want to sing publicly ever. Both would be so fun. Right? Can I be both? Like, 
Kelly wants to be Justin Bieber, but also Justin Bieber. That With like Steph Curry abilities. Yeah, NBA. like played in the NBA. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I feel like I, the idea of being an athlete is so like, I feel like I've never been good at sports, so I would love to be an athlete, but I also think realistically I would much rather be like a filmmaker, like a famous. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. What? No, I'm just kidding. I just feel like that's more of like realistic for me. But if I could be an athlete, I would be so like a like an Olympic gymnast. That's yeah. like the dream. I would want to be an Olympic gymnast. That would be like that's like the coolest thing you could ever be. Mm-hmm. Like Simone Biles. Yeah. Be on Kellogg's boxes. Yeah. yeah Kellogg's on boxes. a Wheaties box. Wow. Okay. Next one. This is where the website started getting weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not make no sense. Okay. okay. Would you rather your teacher uh, was a horse or that? Huh? Okay, wait. Would you rather your teacher A was a horse? With <laughs> Are you reading the typo that they put on the website? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll not read the typo. Okay. Would you rather... Oh my God, I can't do this. <laughs> Would you rather your teacher was a horse with 10 eyes <laughs> or a giant snake that hissed in your ear all day? A, a horse with stick? 10 eyes. What? A giant snake. Oh, snake. That hissed in your ear all day. Or a horse with 10 eyes? <laughs> yeah. So they like... I would rather have a horse with 10 eyes. Then this... It'll be like the squirrel in the Simpsons movie. Do you know what, what? I'm talking about? It's oh, a, oh, yeah. Oh, I, I was thinking the fish. I thought it happened to the squirrel, too. I think it happens to all the animals. All okay. the animals get in the crazy, like... Horse. I'm choosing the horse. <laughs> I guess the, the logical is the horse. But really? I'm choosing the, the snake because then it at least doesn't have 10 eyes. But a giant snake is way scarier than a normal sized horse with just like a, a lot of eyes. <laughs> That's so also like, <laughs> right? Like a, what, a yeah, horse sized snake? the hissing would be insane. Snake? I actually have no idea. Horse sized snake or snake sized horse? <laughs> oh, horse sized, or no, snake sized horse would be lit. Tiny horse? That would yeah. be fire. Tiny horse. That would okay. be so cute. I'd like totally keep that in my pocket. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of tiny, would you rather have one tiny arm or one <laughs> tiny foot? <laughs> one tiny arm. So I guess, arm. yeah, one tiny arm. Mm-hmm. Same. Real okay. Feet are pretty crucial. Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. These are horrible. <laughs> okay, last one. Would you rather you could only pay for things with greasy coins? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> or dead bugs. Wow, really get to know <laughs> These us. are the worst <laughs> questions ever. Ever. I just couldn't believe they're on the website, so I put them down. Uh, greasy coins, because they're their currency. Yeah. Or you said dead bugs. Yeah. Greasy coins or dead bugs. I think we're all going greasy coins. But then right? you could be more rich if you find the dead bugs. Oh, you could just pick up dead bugs off the street and then you're so rich. That's oh, kind of real. I really wasn't thinking that so way. So smart. Or you could wow. kill bugs. Well, Lucas That's on a up. different wave. Of oh my God, thinking. I get that like electric zapper. Like leave food out for a week, get the fruit flies. Oh my gosh, I'm rich. (laughs) Or all the cockroaches in your old Hollywood apartment. Uh, That is also true. Oh, that's right. Yeah, back in the stew. That is a crazy story. Whenever you guys talk about the cockroaches in your old apartment, wait, what story? Because you guys have lived together how many times? Twice. Four. Four. Four, Fourth lease. Yep. But twice in L.A. Two times yeah. in LA. In our Life of Luke and Kelly like original apartment, we just had a ton of cockroaches, Mm -hmm. and then one time. We left for like winter, like break or whatever. I guess we didn't have and break. And you didn't close the pipes or something? We didn't close the fridge. So the then freezer. <gasps> the wow. freezer was left open, so it melted. Ew. And then all the food in there got like whatever mm. gross. And then there was just a trail coming down the freezer with like bugs crawling in and Ew. out of the... And a ton of maggots. Yeah. You stop, oh my stop. God. Like literally need a trigger warning. That's Whoa. crazy. And then we came back and we're like, damn. And then <laughs> had to clean that? it. We had to goes. clean it. Both you guys did. Ew. Oh my God. Was it just you two living there? Or did you have like other roommates that could help or? So it was mostly just Luke and I, but then we had one other roommate for like two months at once. Dang. One time. It was whatever. their filmer. It was right? also a studio, yeah. probably the size like of three fourths of this with a bunk bed. Oh my a, God. That's yeah. horrifying. How many cockroaches do you think were in that apartment? Were you talking about the cockroaches once? being horrifying or the fact that we had to live in the same room being horrifying? I was just saying the fact that you had to live in the same room was horrifying. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, <can't laughs> really I don't think anybody caught that but me. I was like, yeah. you know what she just said? Like, it's horrifying <laughs> to live in the same room as someone else. Well, well, horrifying. No, well, no, that word is so harsh. I, uh, Bro, I obviously dormed at college. I, but I, I'm mostly saying because you are saying you lived in the same space. 
that the cockroach and the trail of worms and stuff was in. Like, you yeah. didn't even have, like, a separate bedroom that was away from it. It's like, it was, there was a like a kitchen and then, like, a hallway to the... Oh, yeah, it was, a li- it was like, a, if, it was still technically a studio, but it kind of had a little bit of, like separation but yeah you'd be going in there at night into the kitchen turn on the lights all the little like cockroaches, cockroaches would look at you like a scared little puppy and then run off yep. oh my god, and then be so like nasty. oh my god Ew. i feel like we're so used to them would go to get like water at night turn on the light see all the cockroaches just turn off the light go back to bed so <laughs> oh call my water god. No more. yeah That's or luke crazy. you said that you would you have to turn on the light and then wait for them to all run away before you go grab something, right? Yeah, there's just so many. Like, actually, so they just come out of the drain. <sighs> Spawn. Yeah, so annoying. Do you guys, like, try to get rid of them or was it just, like, no use? So you much spraying. got an exterminator, I thought. At our second place, we got an exterminator. First place, we played we placed so many traps and then also sprayed so much, but no matter what, we just, like, couldn't get rid of them. Yeah, well, I feel like well, that's so our, hard. They were our buddies, you know, our little buddies. Little yeah. friends. Yeah. Little friends. Oh. Well, what's the craziest thing that either one has done during the lease like do you have any crazy stories of what someone's done or any funny memories uh one time our ex filmer Mm -hmm. we won't say his name because we don't want to you know oh trevor (laughs) Trevor. (laughs) oh my god okay (laughs) that was like a kanye moment anyways uh, (laughs) um one time we're all playing basketball at like 12 a.m yeah ashley probably knows the story and then um, Kelly was like dribbling. We're just playing basketball, and our filmer, ex filmer, Trevor, oh. kicks, tries to like kick the ball away from Kelly, and it just breaks oh. his finger. <laughs> and his finger is like totally sideways. Ew. Yeah. I've seen that picture. It's I didn't know what like happened. It's like TikTok yeah. avatar or whatever. It's so gross. And then we rushed to the emergency room, and then they, this one lady was going, crazy trying to yank it out she's like <laughs> wait his finger because like, it was yeah. dislocated yeah. it was like this finger and it was like totally sideways Ew, crazy thumbnail fingers. it yeah. took like three different people to put it back and they How ultimately had to give me a shot and then they took two like two people came in to help yank it and i was like this is the best method you guys got they were yanking. just yanking right? it i'm like this hurts so bad but the adrenaline was there too so it wasn't terrible oh that's oh, like my that's nightmare crazy it's so gross to me Ew. Also, one more highlight. One time, uh, there's this random guy outside a doctor's office wearing a <laughs> Superman outfit oh, yeah, with I a love wig, that clip. <laughs> and he has rollerblades on. Whoa. Crazy description. And then we race him for the video. Kelly races him on a skateboard, and we go, "Um, on your marks, get set, go!" And then he just face plants. <gasps> on your marks, set, go. <laughs> The best video ever. Oh my god. It's so crazy. That clip is so funny though, but I feel so bad. Yeah. No, that guy's a legend. That's a funny clip. Superman. What video was that in? No idea. Uh, It was the water park, uh, skateboarding uh, abandoned water park or something. Nice. Wow. I also think like just having the mini ramp in the apartment was sick. Oh, yep. Like not, we only had like, we had so little room, yet I still thought it was like a good idea to let's just throw a mini ramp in there. And it was, like, kind of sick. But then ultimately we just slept on it, it the whole time. Bro. It's comfy. <laughs> Luke loves to sleep on the mini ramp. He always sleeps on it. Oh, so you guys have had a mini ramp in, like, every apartment that yeah, I've known you guys. how many have you made? Soon to be another one, probably. Really? No. Right here. This is perfect. No. Oh, you guys got plenty of space for a nice mini Like, high windows, too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely yeah. a four-footer. We also oh, built one in the middle of nowhere, like a forest. Like, Whoa. in the forest. And then we actually had to go to court. Because we left really? it there. Yep. Oh, and they consider it, like, littering or something? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I guess that is littering. Damn. But it was definitely just making the park more beautiful. Oh, it was, like, a public park? Okay. It was a national forest. <laughs> that is That's yeah. crazy. Oh, that's, that's obviously Why not right. Why would you do that? But it was right next to a stream. It was beautiful. And we accident. Someone maybe started a fire there, too. Like, a small Who? campfire. Not you guys, right? No, not us. Oh, my God. Yeah, we started the fire. <laughs> No, no you to, didn't. to do marshmallows, not the not setting the forest fire. <laughs> yeah, we didn't do a forest fire, but we we did have like a campfire because we slept overnight there. And but we put it out, of course. But that's what we actually had to go to court, court for. Because oh, it's not allowed to start a fire. In they actually didn't care that we forest. technically left a whole mini ramp in the woods. They <laughs> yeah. cared that we started a fire in the f- forest I think that's fire. That is kind of yeah, which makes sense. And we got fined two hundred fifty each. Yeah, that's not that. Even. That's not that bad. That's either. not that bad. But, but we were also in the courtroom with, like, people that are like, shoot, this is, like, my fifth DUI. 
Oh and like, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a felon. And then they'd be like, all right, next up, the court case, uh, fire in a national forest. Oh, they said campfire. Campfire. In a natural forest. People were, like, chuckling. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> What'd you guys but cook still, on that campfire? Was it, like, marshmallows or something? That's what they Some said. Glizzies. Yeah. Some glizzies? Glizzies and s'mores. Yeah. Wow. Was it worth it? Yeah. 100%. Two hundred fifty dollars worth of. It's glizzies. not worse. Like, did you learn nothing from Smoky Bear? I feel like Smoky we're Bear. very safe. So even though it was like, but wasn't the first know. time we we're making a fire. Like I've been camping so many times. True, so. but I think we're also way more reckless in those days. I think so. A lot more dumb things that like could have gone really bad. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's. <laughs> almost blew my brother's face off. What? And that was a. Big, that was How? a big moment. That wasn't with me, so. Yeah, but that was like a firework. We were trying to light off a firework oh, yeah, for like my up. own YouTube video in a watermelon. And oh, then <laughs> it's got like really graphic. And then it all, like it was watermelon chunks on his face and I thought it was his face. Oh. And now I just like think a lot more when I'm doing like maybe dumber things for videos. Yeah. Luke always says that's his most traumatic memory. That was crazy. Like, I literally thought he lost his hearing. And his eye was like really red. I was like, damn, oh. I ruined my brother's life. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> With a firework <laughs> stuck in a watermelon. Yeah, that's how he was. But now he's okay. Good. What kind of content can we expect from Lolak? Are Lolak. we going to see some- <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally don't get it. Low lock. So- low lock. Like a lock. Low lock. Low lock. Like there's a low lock. The lock is low. I thought it was low lack. No, it's kind of spelled <laughs> it like doesn't that, matter. but they just say low lock. Say low lock. Low lock is funny too. Sounds like a little whack. Whack. <laughs> whack. Well, whack. what kind of content can we expect from you guys? Is it going to be more fireworks and watermelons? <laughs> more campfires in the national forest? It's going to be good vibes. Okay. Gonna, I think you're honestly, I cannot wait to put out our episodes just because I think on YouTube, uh, a lot of stuff is very formulaic and structured. And not to say it's going to be like super unstructured because obviously that'd be like super hard to follow as it's just like a video itself. But it's going to be really just our lives and going on adventures and things that like we find just exciting in the real world, real world versus YouTube. Like you probably won't see us doing a, you know, I don't know, Mr. Beast challenge or just something (laughs) like random just for views or something. Okay, so it's more like vlog style. Genuine moments. So genuine. So genuine. Juicy moments. Juicy. <laughs> drama. <laughs> Lots of drama. Could we expect a BTS maybe feature in a low lock video? Absolutely. If we hit them up? Absolutely. Yes. Wow. You yeah. message our manager. We, but we, we're going to bring <laughs> that <laughs> energy. Talk to our manager. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I think we're reaching the end of this podcast. This has been so lit. I don't know if you guys know this, but at the end of each of our episodes, we do two things. We say something we loved about ourselves this week. <laughs> and then we say our favorite like media that we've consumed this week or our favorite like product or like food or just, just favorite, favorite anything. Thing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. but let's start with what's our favorite thing about ourselves or that you've done for yourself this week. Yeah, I think maybe Amber BTSP. should start. The mm. BTSP is all about self empowerment, calling yourself beautiful, uh, beautiful twin sisters, of course. My favorite thing about myself this week is that, well, I should have thought about this first. <laughs> um, wait, actually, give me like one second. Hold up. My favorite thing about myself this week is that, uh, this sounds actually like so, like, ego of me, but I think that this week I was pretty funny and I had some <laughs> moments where I, like, I was like, wow, I'm pretty funny. Like, so, what? I literally don't remember, but we've been like <laughs> hanging out with our friends and I'll like make somebody laugh. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty funny. <laughs> so that's my okay. thing. Okay. Let's go. Let's that's go. Nice. Yeah. I like that. I like that. What about you, Ashley? For me, I think, you know, it's 2024 and I feel like right now I am really taking charge of my life and there's been a lot of things I've been procrastinating on that I feel like I finally checked off and done and... I think I'm kind of coming into a new era where I'm really taking life by the horns. You know what I mean? So snaps, snaps. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I feel like I'm figuring things out more and I feel more on top of things. And I feel more optimistic about this year because last year I was uh, really nervous because I got scammed. I'm still a little bit nervous about that, but I feel a little better. So I mostly just feel better that about getting scammed. That's awesome. 
Give me three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Whoa, four. That's crazy. Whoa. I'm proud of myself for, I felt like, um, just like keeping a good mood. Like, I just, nice. I enjoy myself, my, <laughs> my <laughs> presence. My, like, I don't hate uh. myself. I honestly love myself, so it's like I've had a great time this week, and it was just fun to hang out with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that sounds so crazy. <laughs> You're enjoying yourself? But, like, I also Whoa. had things like I hurt my ankle the other day, my pinky, but I'm still smiling, and it's like I live the best life, so there's nothing to complain about. Exactly. That's real. That's beautiful. Yeah. Snaps. I'm kind of a similar wave. I'm like this last, I'm going to say month, because it's all nice. like similar last week, just less stress and trying to like have fun and no pressure yeah no pressure and enjoy the uh moments that we like get to live in the beautiful not gonna say the penthouse but the penthouse <laughs> 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 but to me it's still crazy how we live up there so very yeah. thankful yeah That's and awesome. we started from the stew we started from like the cockroach stew. Yeah. apartment with so many cockroaches and stuff and so i don't even think it's you know it's not even time to be humble i mean we can still obviously we're still hum- like whatever but like you know I you think we deserve that. it. We've worked really hard. Yeah. So it's not like, yeah. That's wow. so real. Own that shit, Luke. I'm proud. I'm proud. I've worked hard. Yeah. Yeah. We also totally forgot to say in the beginning of the podcast, but the boys are from California. We're from New York. <laughs> yeah. And that's just like a little bit of background for everyone. So hope you enjoy that right now at this point <laughs> in the podcast. Yeah. The podcast. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is some interesting Still getting context. to know us. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything that we didn't get to know about you guys about how old are you Luke guys kelly yeah how old are you guys even kelly's older than me uh, okay Luke, <laughs> they didn't ask <laughs> uh, no it's just a joke for fun i'm like wow kelly's so much older than me but you're only like two months so yeah. we're both 24 are Same. you serious Yep. Wait, everybody's 24? Everyone here is 24. Wow. I always think that you guys are like my age. And then I realized that you're actually old as fuck. <laughs> you even feel like I'm your old age all the fuck. time? Well, I know you're older, but then for some reason I assume that everyone else in the world is my age. I kind of feel that. Wait, you actually, wait, you're not older. I didn't say that. Beautiful twin sisters. I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't uh, get it twisted. Uh, don't get it twisted. <laughs> well, well, anyways, going into our favorite things of the week, um, I really have been enjoying... Unpopular opinion, but I've really been enjoying TikTok recently. That's probably my favorite <laughs> oh media. My God. What's like your favorite TikTok that you've watched? Uh, gotta be honest, my own. I'm just kidding. But I literally just made a TikTok with Ashley right before we started filming this where I made her pose as a dog and the audio for some reason, like millennials made like the worst audio ever and it says, I think I like this little dog. And like Doug the pug made it and everybody is like posting their dogs. And I made Ashley sit there, and she was my dog. And so I've just been liking that specific TikTok I made. Wow. And also, I've been watching, like, movie clips on TikTok. And I'm like, damn, that's so good. I should actually just watch the movie. Whoa. Yeah, so that's my thing of the week. What about you, bro? Shout out TikTok. Shout, Shout out, out TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> I'm loving it. Guys, we're also posting clips from the podcast on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts. So go watch that Go watch ish. our clips. They're probably... The more interesting than the full podcast. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, watch the full podcast. Trust. Well, if they're here, they're watching. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to force them. Oh, they're now, they're, now they're feeling threatened. Maybe they're going to watch Watching. I think my favorite thing of this week, I don't really know if this is like a thing, but it's just been hanging out with all of our friends since we got back from vacation. We've been having more dinner with our friends. Oh, yeah. And it's just nice to see our New York City friends and have them around. And I feel like we have such a good little friend group in New York. So that's been making me happy. Yeah. Right now we're on day four of group dinners every single day. Yeah, which is crazy. That is pretty I think nice. actually five, five five with the four of us. Whoa. Yeah. We've been having group dinner like every night, which is really fun. Group dinner. Group dinner. I love New York. Um, My favorite media... Right, just media, media or, media like or anything. anything, product, whatever. Oh, thing. Um, I think my favorite thing that I did last week was either going to the Governor's Island Spa with Ashley. Oh wow. yeah, which was my idea. I always have the best date night ideas. Not gonna lie, okay, I'm dabbing okay. right now. If you're watching the podcast, I'm dabbing like super hard. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, do I think that's just a lie? Oh my god, if you guys are listening, I'm also like naked and like twerking, <laughs> so you guys should definitely be watching the visual, but you guys are totally messing up. 
and or Planet of the Apes. I'm really hyped to rewatch the trilogy <laughs> of Planet of the Apes. Ashley and I watched Planet of the Apes one. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about like the James Franco ones. Two nights ago, we watched it. Yeah. Wait, is he like the star of the series? No, but it's just like, I don't know how, like there's an older one, so I just don't want to get people, I don't oh, want to get them okay. twisted, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Don't get them twisted. Ah. Ah. But that's what's been on my mind. Wow. And Life Luke and Kelly, we've been filming a lot of Life Luke and Kelly, so that's been like, <laughs> OP, you know, <laughs> IVL got me cracked. <laughs> I got so much energy, I could do another fucking podcast. Oh, can I swear? Oops. Yeah, you can, we swear. can swear. Also, why are we drinking these right now when it's actually midnight? Yeah, I'm pretty cracked out, right? I got the, like, anxious crack right yeah. now. <laughs> the anxious crack? Look, and I go, I'm going to film another video upstairs after this. Okay. Oh yeah. I think my favorite thing of the week, I got three. Can I say three? Absolutely. It, I would say the low lock. Also, the family dinners, I was going to say. Nice. Because yeah. Ashley and, and Amber. And also how funny Amber was. <laughs> like, that is true. Amber was cracking me up during all, all the three. games. <laughs> no, honestly, Amber's funny. They're funny. So funny. Um, they made us tacos, sushi, mm-hmm. yeah. pizza, double night. And then tacos again. And tacos. And then also I rearranged my room. Oh yeah. Um, we saw that. Which is super like, no one cares, but I think if you feel bored in your space, like rearranging your room is like, now I feel like I have a new room. So I'm not cool. gonna lie. Me and Kelly stood in your room, and, you and we were same? we were considering moving oh. everything back just as a prank for you, so that you'd come back home <laughs> like, and your room would be exactly the same. I would have cried. <laughs> it's so funny. We just thought it was like the most like funny. non-hurtful prank, but so like devious <laughs> or like just so unnecessary. Yeah. I've been deeply hurt. Pushing back everything <laughs> I just time. moved. Yeah, <laughs> just oh wasting my. your time. Literally, <laughs> so funny. Well, I believe that brings us to the end of the podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening, and thank you guys for joining us. This was so fun. Of course. Thanks for having us. Thanks guys, for having us. Let's start a group podcast. Let's throw away to BTSP. Let's just make a a joint four BTS person podcast. BTSP low lock. No, BTS low lock P. Yeah, that's that's good. <laughs> Do we love BTS low lock P? <laughs> Do we like love low lock BTSP? Maybe that sounds better, actually. But anyways, guys, make sure to go check out Life of Luke and Kelly on YouTube. They have relaunched Life of Luke and Kelly. They're going to have the best duo videos out there. They're going to be fun. They're going to be exciting. Are there the best duo videos out there? Is that what I just said? Yeah. We're literally right here. (laughs) Clip it. Clip it. Someone clip it. (laughs) Sorry, guys. I'm so tired. I'm just capping out my trap. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) that's so cute. Where did that come from? Millennial? <laughs> oh my god, millennial. Andrew always says that. It's a joke. Really? I've never yeah. heard that. Just kidding. Bro. You guys are so mean to me. This Cooked. is so sad. Dang. Wow. Well, he has a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's cooked here. That's cooked. That is cooked. <laughs> That's a body. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Well. Okay. Well, anyways. They're going to be the second best duo videos out there. Do not get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. We also have slight beef now. Beef Just confirmed? Saying. Yeah, beef is confirmed. Wait, we never asked you guys if you guys have had beef. Bro, the podcast is over. Are you really going to ask a question? <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm going to make them fight right now. No. Okay. We we're gonna, no, we're going to leave it. Oh. We can leave it to the next podcast. We'll have them on next week. We have a juicy beef story. No, you don't really. Juicy. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait till next time. Oh Shut my god. god, that's crazy. I was itching to tell that one too. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, wow, slime. that's crazy. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> well, guys, juicy. you guys will hear the juicy beef next year when we do Life of Luke and Kelly number two. So, wow. see you twelve months from now, or sooner. No, nah, 12 months from now. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Only if they like it. You know, if they, yeah, only if the they comments, like it. You know. What if this is our top podcast episode ever? I would actually be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I would be very surprised, too. Yeah. We're not, I'm, uh, Live Luke and Kelly hasn't really been launched for a long time. Yeah, we're trying to get our numbers up. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just doing this as a favor. <laughs> yeah, I'm we're like, <laughs> It's like a pity podcast for you guys. <laughs> Anyways. Bro. Gotta take memo. A, oh, my gosh. Catch up. <laughs> yeah yeah we'll put their venmos in the description so you guys can help them out more yeah they kind of need some help Please. yeah but anyways this has been awesome thank you guys so much for listening and we'll see you guys next time thanks guys for watching beautiful, beautiful twin, twin sisters, sisters out and low lock oh, oh my beautiful twin sisters sisters